When GBN showed up at the supermarkets, shelves looked pretty normal, except no sign of corned beef manufactured in Brazil. The food store operator says it's a clear sign that measures are being taken to protect the health of consumers. While the health of the nation is being safeguarded, the corned beef ban is having a negative impact on the cash flow of the affected businesses. Assistant Manager of Foodland Market Square, Julian Mitchell, says they are already feeling the pinch. You must really fix. I mean, remember, corn beef is a, a, quick, <laughs> a quick fix in, in the sense that most, I mean, housewives and so you come home and you want to, you know, you want to cook something quick, corn beef and rice, corn beef and macaroni, corn beef spaghetti, you name it. So it, 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 it really affects, it really affects us. So they our sales on corn beef was about $2,820 to date, and I'm, um, you know, Taking that off the shelf, at least now we are in a slow period, it must have effect on, on, on our overall performance when we come to trading. Mr. Mitchell believes the situation will lead to more health-conscious citizens. We have a lot of hypertensive cases, you know, the, these things have a lot of salt and so in it, so I guess they will turn to alternative source. I mean, right now, you know, we are going towards the, the Easter, and we will have a lot of hypertensive on the mackerel and the smoked herring and the saltfish. So I guess people would not really look at that but say no. We are in the Lenten season and, you know, people are more going for the, the, the um, more going for the fish, the fish product, right? So it would not have a, a, that effect on us, no. But as to how the Grenadian people will, you know, will take it when everything goes back to normal, I think um, the, I'm very anxious that we to see, you know, how how this whole thing will unfold. He says it is still left to be determined how the Grenadian public will adjust after the whole situation subsides. Miguel Payne for GBN News.